Hey guys, it's Marco and you are watching Tech with Marco. In one of my last videos I talked about how we can implement a secure SSH login and today we're taking that a step further to implement notifications when an SSH login is triggered. I will implement that with the messenger Telegram, but you can choose whatever you want, for example Slack or Discord, but for me Telegram is the easiest one because it's quite straightforward and it's not hard to set up. So I will show you how to do that with Telegram, so let's go. The first thing you will need is a bot in Telegram. The bot is easily created, you just have to chat with the bot father and send the command slash new bot. So just type bot father in the search bar and go ahead and enter the chat. And then you can write a message to the bot father and this one is named new bot. Now you have to enter a name for your bot and I will just call that SS so TWM SSH login. Now you have to choose a username for that bot. I just take the same name but uh, it has to end with an underscore bot and this username is invalid so I just use it without the dashes and easy as that, you have created a bot. So make sure to note down the access token for the HTTP API because we need that to send our notifications to the bot. So copy that and save it. Now the next thing we need to do is to start a chat with the bot and you can easily do that by clicking the first link in the confirmation message of the bot father and then the chat will be started with your just created bot. Just type in slash slash start and hello for example so no one is answering here but we need to do that because we need to find out our own chat ids to which we will send the login notification later after you've done that you have to request a certain url with your token to get your message id back uh, i use postman for that but you can also use the browser so it's just a simple http guest get request in Postman, you can click on the plus button to create a new request and this one will be a GET request and paste this URL. So we have the variable bot token and in that variable we will enter our just copied bot token we got from the bot father. So paste that and send the request and you will get back a JSON response. and. The result for now is empty, so I'll just send another message again. And there we go, we have our result back and you can scroll down here, see the update ID and the message we've sent and the from statement is now interesting. So we have the ID and this is my user ID of Telegram and we need that ID so the notification script will know where to send the message to in Telegram. So note that down and save it because we need that in our script. The next step now is to log into the server where you want to implement the SSH notification alert. So basically what we do now is to put the script onto our server and modify the SSH config. So whenever a login is triggered, the script will be executed and we will get a notification in our Telegram channel. So I will create a folder in the PAM directory. So PAM is a module used by SSH to audit these logins. Quick addition from the off, PAM stands for Pluggable Authentication Module and it is a library that handles authentication tasks on the system. When used with SSH, it offers enhanced security and flexibility. Go ahead and create the directory in slash etc and name that pum.scripts. Oh, and make sure to have the correct rights. And then basically you can create your script in this directory. And you can name that, for example, loginalert.sh. So paste the script into the editor and let's go quickly through the script. So we will start that in our bash and we will set a variable with the token we got from the bot father, the ID of our user from Telegram, uh, the hostname variable will be created, a date will be created, and we will create a message. So the PAM user will be the user who is logging in into our server, the type will be the action which is executed by the user, so for example login or log out, and then we will give some meta information with the date, with the hostname, 
and the IP where the login or the exit is being triggered from. And we will send the message to the URL api.telegram.org slash bot and then your token from the variable we have in the third line. And we will then send the message with the curl post request and we don't care about the output. So we put that into our def null and we will then exit the script. So let's quickly fill in our token and the chat ID and then save the file to the disk. Make sure the script is executable. So you can use chmod plus x for example to do that. And the last thing we have to do is to now call the script whenever an action is being triggered. So we will modify the file slash etc pem.d slash sshd. Then you can scroll down to the bottom and add the following line. Session required pem underscore exec dot so slash etc slash pam dot scripts and then the script name. I think that one was login alert dot sh but I'll just check that. So make sure to close the editor and save login alert dot sh. Yep, that's true. And another addition from the off. Make sure you set the keyword use pem to yes in the etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config in order to have ssh working with pam. And now whenever you're logging in or logging out, a notification will be sent to your Telegram account by that script we just created on the server. So just let's quickly test it if it works. So let's open a new tab here and ssh into my server with my user account. And now let's check the Telegram chat with the bot if we got a notification. And voila, there we go. We see mgrival did the following action, open session at the following date on this instant from this IP. And easy as that, we're always getting notified if something is happening on our server. And the same now works also for logging out. So let's quickly log out from our instance. And then we have the same message, but the action is a different one. So this one is close session and not open session. So let's put them right next to each other and test that again so that we can see it is happening instantly. So the moment we're logging in, we're getting the notification from our bot that we are being logged in and the same works with logout. So that was a quick tutorial on how login notification works. You can use whatever program you want Discord, Slack, and there are a thousand other possibilities, but I like Telegram because it's quite straightforward. I make sure to put the script in the description down below so that you can copy and paste that and uh, yeah, you make sure to update your token and your chat ID so that everything is working. But as I said, you can also exchange Telegram for your program of choice. If you haven't seen my video before of how to secure SSH logins, uh, I'll make sure to link that now in my end card. And yeah, leave a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.